Ronnie O'Sullivan. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Ronnie O'Sullivan Breaking leading down, 12 frames to seven, needing 13 to go through. Incidentally, on the other table, Alan McManus has gone back into the lead against Ken Doherty with an 87 break. He leads six frames to five on the other table. Well, will this be the last frame in this match then? Ronnie hopes so, of course. Well, there's the pot success. 88% for Ali. It's not high enough. 92 for Ronnie. And uh, I think uh, Ronnie's put his himself on the brink of victory here without playing top draw stuff. And uh, it's been a little bit scrappy, scrappy from both of them actually. And Ali Carter's had one or two chances. A couple of frames could have gone a different way. And could have had a slightly different scoreline. And uh, Ronnie probably not too happy with his performance here this morning. But it's uh, an Ali Carter also. He knows he's had a couple of good chances. This red's gone over the corner, just snuck the other red and uh, went over that corner pocket. It's a thin cut. In fact, the red had just bounced off the cushion a little bit more, it would have been much easier. Ali's just come round to have a look at the angle. Caught it too thick. It wasn't easy. Uh, he's left this red to the middle. Ronnie will want to try and get this match out of the way here in this frame. He won't want to go into an interval and prolong it. He wants to get this out of the way and concentrate on his quarter final. And uh, well, he will be awaiting the winner of uh, Stephen Lee and Peter Ebden. Hmm, that should be an interesting one, a rematch of uh, the Lee Ebden game here, I think it was three years ago, when uh, Peter incurred the uh, displeasure of Stephen at the end of the match with his raw victory, which uh, Stephen Lee didn't appreciate too much. They get underway tomorrow afternoon. There's no morning session tomorrow, by the way, Sunday. No morning session here at Crucible. Six. One of the few mornings off for everyone here during this 17-day run. Eleven. So if Ronnie comes through this one here, which uh, this frame, I mean, obviously he's been coming through the match now, but uh, he, he's not in action again until Wednesday, so he's got a few days off. Mm. 18. Nineteen. Thirty-four. 
35 40 oh, Ronnie with a great chance here to take frame and match 41 and like I said, without playing absolutely at his best, his uh, experience has shown. And he's just done enough to win the frames, and that's all you can ask of somebody. 47. He's kept uh, Ali under the cosh. 48. Fifty-four. Fifty-five. Mm, found the plant. And that's opened them all up now. Well, this is his tenth half century. We haven't seen a century from him throughout this match, actually. He's only had one so far this tournament. That 61. was against Stephen Maguire. In that... Uh, Pulsating first round match, what a game that was. 62. It's short on the blue. 67. Well, that's the score up. 67 ahead, 67 on the table. Just one more red required. Yep. He's into the quarterfinals now. Yes, Ali's been kept under a bit of pressure here this morning, actually. I say he's had one or two chances, not too many. The world champion has crafted a lot of um, frame winning 75. breaks. 76. But um, Ali Carter has played his part in this match. Had a good session last evening to stay with the world champion, but it wasn't to be. This time will come. 83. Sure. But it's the reigning champion 84. who marches on. And he might well be marching on, finishing his match in a spectacular fashion with a nice century break. 91. 92. Just got enough angle to go down for that red over the right middle. 99. So this for three figures, One and there it is, the 406th century of Ronnie's career, and the 33rd so far 105. in this championship. 107. So, 132 possible. 140. Remember, of course, Mark Williams's maximum 147 stands proud at the top of the century's pile. 190. Well, this will be a good one, but you never know with Ronnie. Oh, easy. Why did I doubt him? Uh, <laughs> some talent, you know, he just starts to play. It really is. Well, 125 up to the pink. Good enough. And the handshake comes. And Ronnie O'Sullivan is through to the quarterfinals. Emulating Stephen Hendry, his great rival, by getting through with a session to spare, or half a session anyway, and beating Ali Carter finally by 13 frames to 7. And he now has to wait to see whether he will meet either Stephen Lee or Peter Ebden in the quarterfinals. They have still to get their match underway.
So, we'll take a short break, and when we come back, we'll have more news from the other table. That's the match between Alan McManus and Ken Doherty. Well, looks like Ray Reardon's going to take a break as well. Signing an odd autograph or two. He's still such a popular figure whenever he appears at tournaments. No doubt he's going off for a break, as in.